Hey, Laura, how much battery you got on that computer? Oh, not a lot, I'm afraid. Not a lot? Oh, we're going to have to do make quick work of the cystunus uh, business and kurtosis, right? Let's make it really quick. All right. Okay, cool. All right. So I think when we talk about um, when we talk about the mean, right, mm -hmm. we basically take a, if I'm not mistaken, we basically take, oh, God, I, like I feel the, the clock ticking because of your the battery over there so let's see let's see if i could do this okay so let's say we have a random variable that's laid out along this axis right okay and it's distributed in a certain way correctly mm -hmm. or correct so that makes that's our density function there let's say f of x right and okay. if i want to find out what the mean is right that's equal to uh the integral from uh, my from negative infinity to positive infinity, I believe, of my, I'm going to use simple notation and just call that density function f of x times the value of x and then integrate with respect to x. That would give us the mean, correct? So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and I think that the variance basically takes the square of that. Is that correct? Sounds right to me. Is that right? I think when we uh, want to figure out what the variance is, uh, and I may be totally wrong on this, is that I think we integrate the same bit, f of x. Oops, let me not crowd myself over here. Uh, let's say the integral of the integral of f of x, right? I'll just leave the f of x there, times the x squared bit, and then multiply, uh, sorry, and integrate with respect to x. Or somehow that's used, basically, to figure out what the variance is. Okay. So is the skewness and the kurtosis uh, basically taking these bits to higher powers? It certainly is. Is, is that what it is? Because that's what it looks like skewness is looking like right behind you there. Yeah, I've got the formula here. So Hold we've on. got Let the me cube roots going on. Uh, not the cube roots, sorry, the cubes going on. The cube. So we got the cube up there. Hey, can you pull up something for kurtosis? Um, What's happening with kurtosis? Because on that bit, here, let me stop my share over here. Uh, uh, that's right. Okay, so... So if we're looking at uh, kurtosis, right? It's skewness then kurtosis, right? Mm -hmm. So skewness looks at probably the cube. So does it look at how it's shaped basically, right? How spread out it is, it is, is going to be the variance, I imagine. You know, what kind of, uh, how do you call it? Like inflection points or something, right? Is Indeed. that right? Is that right? Like inflection points. So let's see. I'm going to see if I can find something that tells us what kurtosis is. The skewness goes with the third, right? Mm -hmm. Kurtosis goes with the fourth, I imagine. Eh? It makes sense for it to be. Kurtosis. I'm doing a Google search as we speak. Kurt I tell you what, lots of these sites are just saying to use software. <laughs> oh what we want the we want we want you know some kind of an explanation of what it is and what it's telling us basically and why it's important. I know, right? Yeah, man. This is you know this is we want to find something out here. I've got Kurt Russell as one of the search things here. <laughs> I don't want Amazing. Kurt Russell because I don't, I wonder if he ever escaped from L.A. and New York like he was trying to do in those movies. Uh, man, I can't spell kurtosis. Ah, I've got something with a... You got something? Kurtosis of a normal distribution we're talking about, but let's see kurtosis. Uh, let's see, yeah. man. It's a math speak here. Oh, I can't share my screen. Are you, sh are you sharing it? Oh, you can't? Here, let me you get can't. you. Give me a chance to share it. God, that wasn't fair. I should have had that prepared. I think you're ready to share it. Go right ahead. Thank let's you. see what we got. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I'm going to go have to see if Netflix has uh, Escape from New York now with Kurt Russell. All right, here we go. Oh, to the fourth bit, eh? Something like that, right? So what is he doing there? 
So I guess, what are they trying to sell on this website? <laughs> it's very similar to what we've got here for Sue, isn't it? Except in the bottom, oh, the bottom's got what now? The bottom has got... There's a mean on the bottom. All right, right. so you got the mean there. Okay, so on the top, wow, okay. So the power in the bottom is also changing, huh? Mm. Wow, no kidding. So they're so they're taking y minus y squared. So no, the mean of y squared, and then squaring that. Mm. So what does that give us? Because there's well, there's they're squaring a constant, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just y minus y. The, the y mean squared. It looks like mm -hmm. it's coming off of each value of the y. And then that bit is being squared. So that's still a square, I imagine, right? I guess so. Right? And the squares are canceling. So you got a, up to the fourth in the top and a square in the bottom giving you a square, I guess. It's, this is unexpected. Wow. Okay. All right. That's a little bit complicated, but it does look like they're these uh, these generating functions, right? You're, or I should say, you've got um, basically you're looking at the uh, the random variable manipulated in some kind of different way, mm -hmm. and you take that bit and you multiply, or sorry, you multiply that bit by the random variable itself. Sorry, you take the function, the density, and multiply it by whatever parameter you're looking for to get what that expected value might be. So as you're moving through the probability distribution, certain values are going to be given a little bit more weight than other values as you move along. For the X, for the X, for the whatever else. All right. Yes. All right. Should we make this a should go ahead? Go ahead. So, like, kurtosis is about the tailedness of a distribution. So it makes sense for the heaviness to, to be calculated here. Because it's, it's got nothing to do with how the function looks on top, does it? It's only the tailedness. It's only the tail bits that it's talking about. Yeah. So kind of looking at, like, I, it just makes me think of, uh, uh, did you see that? Look at that. Amazing. Isn't that awesome? Beautiful. Amazing. It's like a. It's like. Has this made an appearance in other videos? I haven't noticed it, but it looks it's like my magic. It's my magic hat. <laughs> it pops up every once in a while. It's like Fantastic. Carmen Miranda, I think, right? From from nineteen fifties Havana, I think. Oh, amazing. A hat like that. Okay. Uh, all right. Um. So it so it talks about the tails basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I, is that a good place to end it, or should we come back next week and uh, fill in a little bit more detail? Let's find out a bit more and continue this next week. Find out a little bit more, and I'm going to go see if I can, uh, you know, make use of this magical hat, you know, parade myself around, you know, High Street over here. <laughs> so, all Excellent. right, Laura, so I'll see you soon, okay? Indeed. All right. I'll talk Have a good weekend. I'll try. Yeah, it's uh, hopefully we get some nice weather. How's the weather down in Southampton? It's improving, which is unexpected. It doesn't always happen like that. <laughs> I woke up today and it's like, oh yeah, today's for today's uh, description of the weather miserable, and that's you know you know that's really really looking at it in a uh, how do you call it in a uh, positive light. <laughs> oh dear. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right, talk to you soon. Bye bye.